Viewer discretion is advised. Hello, everyone. This is Euro Truck Simulator 2. Welcome back. We are in Gdansk, and we are going to be getting a job to get the hell on out of here and explore a little bit more of uh, the Scandinavian DLC. How about it? So let's head up into the truck and get it ready to go. First, I wanted to uh, thank uh, Chance Stuart Hain for reminding me about the Euro Truck Simulator 2 uh, series. It's been a while since I've played it, and he was like, hey, you should play that. And I was like, all right, I will. Um, and also, Gameplay Master 127 told me I'll get a uh, frame rate increase if I take the nose mirrors off the truck. So we're going to do that first before we get anywhere else. Uh, and while we're here in Gdansk, we're going to look for a garage to work on it. And I... Oh, there's one down there. Okay, cool. But we're here at UPS. I added uh, two more mods for uh, real company logos and stuff like that, so... Okay, looks like the repair garage is up here on the right. We're almost there. Get rid of these nose mirrors, even though I use them. If they if they help with the frame rate inside the truck, it's going to be worth it. Promise you that. Okay, on in we go. Beautiful. Because I get great frames everywhere else, but whenever I'm looking straight out, I don't. And I guess it is from the nose mirrors. Which is alright. We'll get it taken care of. Okay, parking brake set. And kill the engine. Let's go have a look. A lot of people wanted to know what I have all on the truck, so let's go to the upgrade shop anyway. And uh, you can see here, we have the Aerodyne sleeper. Not the flat top, not the extended day cab or anything. Um, I've got the 6x4. I'm using the CAT C15-600 with a CERT. Uh, the Eaton Fuller RTLO, which is our nice 18-speed. Uh, the interior. I wanted to get a nice interior in this because I didn't like that last. The, remember the default one? And I thought that was killing my frame rates. Turns out it wasn't. So let's do the exclusive one. I think that'll be good. Color, red, obviously. Accessories, here they all are. So these got to go bye-bye. No and no. And I think I can put my air cleaner on there now. No, because the mirrors with paint are in the way. But that's okay. Everything else looks pretty good there. Um, and this is how I put uh, all the lights on up here on this top piece. And the horn and all that kind of stuff, if you're wondering. So there we have it. Beautiful. We'll confirm the order. And hopefully this will help us out. Upgrade shop looks good. 105, 216. And before we continue, I wanted to show everybody my your truck uh, graphic settings. A lot of people have been asking about these, so let's just go over them really quick. Graphics, full screen mode. Well, we're in, I'll turn the advanced settings on. Brightness, right there, resolution. You know, here's the fresh refresh rate of 60 hertz. Uh, V-Sync's enabled. Scaling 125, anti-aliasing, check, 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 check. No color correction. I don't like the color correction. High, high, medium, ultra, high, ultra, medium, high, medium, high. Uh, Anisotropic all the way up. Normal maps, checked, checked, checked. High on the light visibility ranges. Now, if you guys have issues with uh, frame rates with trucks um, and the interiors and it's just killing it, uh, like on a Peterbilt 379 or something, it might be your card. When I had an old ATI card, I had to disable those. So this light visibility ranges matter a lot when that comes to mind. Controls for the G27. I just used the keyboard plus G27 racing wheel. I'm not going to go through these. I'm just going to show you them right here. So you can do what you need to do. You can slow the video down, pause it, whatever needs to be done. Uh, I've just been getting a lot of requests about these. So this is the reason why. Shifter layouts range. Uh, there's those. And there's shifter toggle one, shifter toggle two. That's how I go up between uh, the different stages in the transmission. So there you have it. There's all my settings. I did it. I remembered. Yay. <laughs> all right. Let's see if this helped with our frame rate. I have a feeling it did. I really do. All right. Up into third. Oh, that worked like a charm. Thank you, Gameplay Master 127. 
You are a game play master. You figured it out. So I know Bugs, whenever he was using the T-800, he had the same exact issue. So get rid of those nose mirrors. They kill the frame rates in this truck. Who knew? All right, cool. Let's head over here to the, uh, we'll hit the park and brake. Head over to the freight market. Let's see what's going on here in Gdansk. Get a job. Get a job, you bastard. Right here. Gdansk. Uh, and if we can get a reefer, we will. But if we can't, we can't. Nothing we can do about it. Okay, looks like we're not going to get anything that we want. That's okay. Uh, Sandal cottage cheese. This classic. Let's see. Diggers, truck rims. I think we're going to go with this purple trailer. Ice cream. That sounds like fun. Let's do that. Oh, is it down to Poland? No, I, I don't want to do that. I want to go back into uh, the Northern Territories. There we go. We'll go to Uppsala. Uppsala. Get answer to Uppsala with the Chevron. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. Set that to GPS destination. And let's go. Oh, it's right up here on the right. Can't beat that. Park and brake off. And let's roll. Okay, it's up here. All right, on the left, there's the Chevron, which is a gasoline company, pretty much. Diesel, whatever. Fuel, fuel company. We'll say that. Then everybody will be right. Okay. We can left into this guy and pick up our trailer. It looked like a cool trailer, too. So there it is, that multicolored one. The yellow and blue trailer. All right, coming to a stop here. Let's get the job. That's what we want. Take the job. And look forward. Okay. Yeah, I think we can pull off in fifth gear easy when bobtailing. Yeah, so I found if I go slow through the uh, gears, it won't make that terrible sound. So that's really nice. Oh, yeah, we got our frames back big time, man. That is amazing. Thank you for that tip so much. All right, cool. Let's throw her into reverse two. In reverse two means that I'm I'm up on the second tier, so you know I'm uh, one, two, three, I'm fourth, so I'm fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth on this one. And when I go into reverse, I'm in the second reverse. Is all that is. Okay, that'll do nicely. Back in a little more, and we got the trailer. Yay! We're pretty much ready to go. Have a look at our trailer. Make sure it's all good to go. Turn that off. Don't need that. Taking that stat oil. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. Uh, we'll go back down into the lower levels. Second gear. And pull away. Let's see what our uh, weight is. 20 tons of fertilizer. The Uppsala DFDS Logistics is where we're going. So very nice. I think we're low on fuel. Pretty sure we're gonna need some fuel. Pretty, 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 pretty sure. All right, cool. It's nice having weight back there on the trailer. That definitely helps us. We're making it right out of here. Oh yeah, it's just beautiful frame rates now. Golly, that's what it was. It really was that. We're good now. Really wish they would just give us an option to turn off that sound effect. It, it's not like we're doing anything wrong. It's just stupid. It's a grinding gear sound. I mean, if I just go straight into the gears, it doesn't, it doesn't do it. It's just, I don't know. I think we'll never figure that one out. We'll never figure it out. It's 1733. We're going to turn our headlights on, at least our parking lamps on for now. Making a left up here. We got to get over to the uh, marina, which we probably needed the. Yep. Yeah, okay. We're good. We are indeed good. Watch that right side just to make sure. And it looks good. Yeah, we make it right up here into the ferry. Pull the 
Stockholm. Make it right. Very nice. All right, cool. We'll be rolling. We'll head back up into Poland and be on our way. The Euro Lines Ferry is what we're taking. We're going to Uppsala, so I gotta remember what uh, one that is gonna be, because I'm not really entirely sure. Oops, wrong button. There it is, right there. Okay. Let's look at our possible travel destinations. And I know I wanna go up here to. Looks like it's gonna be Nyansham. Nyansham. Let's do it. Embark. 19 hour trip. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. And it's Kalei. And I only know how to pronounce that one because of uh, Alex told me when once upon a time I used to call it Kalei's. Okay, to view possible travel destinations, no need for it. Let's just get rolling. It's a beautiful day. Oh, it's noon. We don't need our lights. We don't need our lights for that. We will make it right out of here. All the way down. I think that'll do nicely. Let's go into seventh gear there. Wonderful. All right, now we're on the road. Now we're driving. Very, very cool. Oh, excellent. Guys, I wanted to let you know, um, uh, in the description below, I'll have a link to it. I did start my first uh, t-shirt campaign, so if you don't know about that, go be sure to check it out. Um, there's a, quite a few options for it, so if you want like a higher quality material, you can. I made that an option for everybody. Um, they're 20 bucks, and I'm pretty happy with them. I designed the, the, I made the design myself, and a lot of you know, you know, police mod is uh, an LSPD far and stuff is a huge thing on my channel. Uh, police role play or whatever you want to call it and uh, I decided to make there's 11th gear I decided to make uh, a police theme kind of one so if you haven't checked it out check it out it supports my channel directly and uh, hell maybe you'll look at it and say hey that's a cool looking shirt I want one so I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out all right, cool. Now we're rolling through the town of, I believe we're in Uppsala now, right? No, we're in Nansham or whatever. Yeah, that's what it is. We're going to Uppsala. That's what I meant. That's all right. I just kind of take my time through these intersections. Not sure who to uh, completely believe. Oh, we wanted to get gas, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Fuel, we wanted to get petrol, fuel, whatever, diesel. <laughs> Can't make everybody happy anymore these days. They all hate you. Okay. Nice. Yeah, we're just going to go ahead and fill up while we're here. Don't fill up while we're here. Sounds like a good idea to me. Liters. Lots of liters. This thing holds a lot of gas, but it gets great gas mileage of the tanks i think that's the reason why so i don't know if it actually gets good gas mileage fuel tank is full have a look see outside oh yeah very nice okay cool let's fire it back up and get back on the road again on the road again let's get hit back out on the road again let's not get copyright all right Watch out for that car I was pulling out. I knew he was going to be doing that. Make sure that we're okay here. View wise. Looks like there's nobody coming. Get her up to speed. Give me a little two lane highway now. Excellent. Well, I hope you guys' week's going well. For those of you that are huge uh, fans of Police Mod in GTA 5, LSPD Far was released. We all know that, and it was um, it's amazing. Turned out really good. Really enjoying that mod. Uh, it will be on the channel Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. 
prime time pretty much around uh, the evening depending if I, if I get some if I get it pre-uploaded it will be earlier in the day around 5 p.m. if uh, I'm running behind and I actually have to do it that day then that's uh you know it can be late sometimes you get that with me I don't have a set schedule yet but I am going to be adding LSPDFR to the channel full-time so that's the main reason behind that all right, main left up here. Hey, it's Neto. Watch out for the speed cameras here. It's 50 through here. Yeah, we're all right. There it was right there. There it was right there. Watch both ways. That looks like a yield sign, but it, okay. Yep. Always some dickhead to be there. Oh, you're gonna let me go? All right, thanks, man. The FDS J logics for the win. Appreciate that, buddy. Now we get on the motorway. We'll say thank you to him. And we'll get on the road to Uppsala, Stockholm. Watch these. This has always been our nemesis this turn. There we go. We did well on this one, though. We did all right. Can't be upset about that, right? Be careful coming down this hill and merging into the traffic. There's a car there, so we're going to let him go. And we'll be on our way. Sorry, little car. They had a choice to go around. They chose not to, so screw them, right? Screw them, I say. I mean, you're still going to get frame rate drop here in the cities, but that's okay. Nothing like it was. And that was the main issue was that, you know, um, the frame rate was dropping in the cab normally, let alone when you're in a city. So when you're in a city, I was getting, like, some terrible frame rates. And, uh, okay. We'll get off here. I don't see any cars. Whoop. Steering was a little more than I thought it was. Should have known. But look how awesome this off ramp is. And how about American Truck Simulator, guys? It was really, it was, uh, they showed that trailer at E3. And it looks awesome. I cannot wait. It's going to be so, so sweet. So, so, so sweet. Get up in the 15th. I think we can get up here in the 16th gear in a minute. And, uh, 16th gear is 18th in this truck because you have low and then low low or whatever so that's the difference there I'm a little rusty on driving this thing there we go now that i don't have to shift i can worry more about driving so oslo and Uppsala, we go but yeah based off of the uh the comment section after the last uh last video i did I don't don't care about pronoun pronouncing things anymore. I'm just gonna say them how I see them. Gonna say them how I see them. That's what we're gonna do. So it looks like Uppsala, Oslo, and Vastaraz. So that's what it is. It's Vastaraz. <laughs> that's cool looking. That building. That's very interesting. Or a water tower of some sort. Not exactly sure what that is. Let me go to the outside view and look. Somebody asked me if I was ever gonna do a third person episode. I was like, no, no way in hell is that going to happen. I hate it. I hate it. It's like, why would you ever play a Euro Truck Simulator and be in the outside view? I don't get it. But that will not be on my channel. Oh, look at the train. That is cool. That is neat. Very nice. Loving this DLC. It is so beautiful up here in Scandinavia. So if you live in Scandinavia, hats off to you. You guys live in one beautiful area. Well, this is actually Poland, right? I think we're in actually, yeah, I think we're in Poland. Oh, we're almost to Uppsala. Well, that didn't take very long, did it? Very nice. So we like quick and easy. Okay, Popsped. Popsped. It's a fake company, of course. I need to get some more uh, trailer mods for more realistic... Uh, Realisticness. 
The reason why I haven't done it is because uh, I've been waiting for all the new version stuff to come out, you know? All the compatible stuff. That's the main reason behind it. Oh, wrong button. Not that one. No, why are you... I hate, Sometimes I hate this transmission, I swear. It doesn't do what you want it to do. And my G27 uh, buttons have started to stick. I don't know why they're doing that. That's kind of annoying, I've got to say. I think we're on the left side, so let's take the left lane. Let's watch that little box truck up here. Okay. We're good now. We're good now. 70 through here. Okay, well, that's about 45 miles an hour or so. Actually, it's 40 miles an hour, so we got plenty of... Uh, Plenty of space there. We have a roundabout, though. Oops, let's do it. Let's hit this roundabout. Do you use? I guess they use uh, blinkers, indicators, turn signals in uh, roundabouts. Oh, that was weird. I should have been in that outside lane, probably. That's okay, though. For what it is, not too terrible. We can left up here at the next intersection. And welcome to Uppsala, or Uppsala, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I did pretty good on that downshift. What do you say? I think I did all right. Make a left here. Not sure what kind of drop off it's going to be. Oh, Neto's this way. Neto is the Norfood. The old ex Norfood drop off. Interesting enough. I'll make a right here. Oh, this is where we're dropping off, I think. No, we're not. We're just going to drive by Neto. Which is Nor Food. Used to be Nor Food. And then I put that mod in for the new, uh, for real places. But that's that drop off that we, did, we didn't have fun with. But I, I did, in a live stream, get it done. So I do know it works now. So that's good to know. All right. Had to, uh, jump away from it for a minute. I'm sure people are pissed off at me because I was sitting at that light forever. <laughs> Oh, the car's back there. The mail lady came, so I had to uh, answer that. Okay. Good Lord. Let's pull in here. Welcome to DFDS. Guy on a smoke break out there. He's got a smoke a break. Got a smoke a break there, buddy. A smoke a break. He looks like he's tired. Okay, where's the drop off back here? Back here somewhere. Let's see how this is going to be. Well, there's no tr no trailers. That should be pretty simple, right? One would think. I've always been able to mess things up with triple axles, though, so you never know. You never, never know. It's kind of shallow over here, too. Not much room. Ooh, yeah. It's a little tight in here. That stupid, stupid grinding sound is so annoying. All right, let's see if we can get this thing in here. All right. Just gotta cut this wheel over. Might have to use a little bit of trailer braking action today. Slide her in. Slide it in, slide it in. It's like Glade plug-in. Plug it in, plug it in, but slide it in, slide it in. Ooh, before we get a little out of whack, we're going to have to bring the nose up a little bit forward to the right. Boy, a little tight here for this tractor and uh, trailer. Who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed? I got the wheel cut. I get too crazy here. All right. Yeah, with these trucks, uh, the big tractors like this, you got to get them right up against the wall. Because if you get them a little bit out of 
shape, they're not going to go back, you know? So let's be careful here. Back it in. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. It's green. It's happy. I really want to be able to back it up against the wall like that. I wish they would let you drop the trailer off with doing that. I wish there was a mod for that that made those longer. That's okay, though. We did it. We'll hit uh, the parking brake. And that'll do. Hit the red button. Disconnecting trailer. We got excellent 118 kilometers, 21 hours, 34 minutes. A lot of that on the boat. 69.8 liters consumed. And that'll do that. Look at that. We're moving towards the level 12. Moving towards the level 12. Well, awesome. That's going to do it for this one, guys. If you want to see more Euro Truck Simulator, hit the like button. Leave a comment below about the trip. Let me know what you thought. Man, I really like the interior on this thing. Very nice indeed. All right. See you next time. Take care.